Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. I've previously covered the Photos app and touched on iCloud Photo Library in a previous iOS show. However, now with Photos for Mac being released in OS 10 10.10.3 and the final release of Photos for iOS and iCloud Photo Library in iOS 8.3, I thought I'd revisit the topic for this week. If you want to learn more about Photos on the Mac, check out episodes 500 and 501 of The Mac Show. Now just some background information, iCloud Photo Library is the new service from Apple that allows you to store high resolution master copies of your photos and videos in iCloud. You then have the option of syncing those photos and videos with all your supported Apple devices and any changes you make, no matter where, are synchronized back to iCloud and then to all of the other devices. It basically gives you the ability to edit your photos from any device and not worry about having the most recent version available everywhere. So let's take a look at the newly released Photos and iCloud Photo Library on iOS. Now if you've seen episode 500 on the Mac Show, you will have seen me converting my Aperture Library and also migrating a separate iPhoto Library into Photos. I then enabled the iCloud Photo Library and all those images and some videos have now been uh, transferred up into iCloud and what I'm going to do now on my iPad um, is actually access those photos using the Photos application. Now before I do that, let me go into settings first. A couple of things to point out to you. If we go down to Photos and Camera. So uh, now that iCloud Photo Library is out of beta, you'll see it uh, doesn't have the brackets beta uh, labeled after it. Now, as you can see, I've already switched on iCloud Photo Library on this particular iPad. It was last updated 29 minutes ago. So I should have a current copy of all the photos and all the videos that I've uploaded from my Mac in episode 500 here on the iPad. Now, before we look at some of the options, let me just show you something. Uh, I've had a few people querying, when you do go into photos, uh, the very first screen that you see, the top level screen, is this year screen. And some people are experiencing uh, gaps in this display. Uh, this display basically just shows me all the photos that I have in my photo library. If I tap in, I can actually see them in a bit more detail. If I just come back out to years, um, to get rid of the gaps, well, you can do one of two things. You can either tap in to where the spaces are. In fact, if I just go down here, uh, these are some screenshots I took earlier today. So this is the sort of gaps I'm talking about. So you can see here, I've got some uh, gaps around where there should be images. But if you actually tap into those gaps, what happens if I just show you the next screenshot? These are the sort of thumbnails that haven't been cached, but if you wait for a few seconds, you'll actually see them start to populate, and then eventually uh, they will all complete. Uh, another thing, this is another view. Uh, so I did that once, and there were still some gaps you'll see up on the top row. I've got some photos missing there. Again, tap into those spaces. So you'll see up in the top right-hand corner, there are some spaces there. There's another space down the bottom. Just tap into those spaces, and eventually you'll see the four spaces, if I just leave it a few seconds, they will be populated. Now, if that doesn't work for you, in fact, let me come back out and go into settings. Uh, if that doesn't work for you and you still have gaps, what I would suggest you do is actually switch off iCloud Photo Library. You will be prompted to delete all the copies that you have locally, switch it on again, and let it resync. Now, it might well be that these problems are caused from people upgrading from the uh, beta version of iCloud Photo Library. But if you have upgraded to 8.3, uh, I think people are finding it a lot more stable. So to remove the old iCloud Photo Library and resync might be the way to go. So that's just some background. Uh, let's take a look at this next setting here, which is to either optimize iPad storage or download and keep originals. Now, unless you have a particularly large uh, iPad and a very small library, it's unlikely you'll want to download and keep the originals. I have a 128 gigabyte uh, iPad, but unfortunately my uh, library is over 250 gigabytes. So to, you can't actually download and keep the high resolution originals. So to get around this particular problem, Apple have given us the option to optimize iPad storage. And this is a very clever way in that it will download initially just thumbnails of those uh, images and videos. And then if you actually tap into those, uh, it will actually then download the original. And you can see that by, again, I'll demonstrate this. If we go into photos, if I just select a photo, um, I mean, I'm not sure which ones of these I've downloaded before, but if I go into, uh, let's say, uh, this one here, uh, two dogs, you'll see down in the bottom corner, uh, a timer. This is just uh, the high resolution original being downloaded from the iCloud photo library. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, 
All you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day no-obligation free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership.